Hey y'all, it's Dee Dee. Okay, so yesterday I went on a little Dollar Tree shopping spree. Um, I got a few things. Um, I didn't really have a plan of what to get when I was there. Um, I know there's been a lot of Halloween stuff, so I was looking for that. Um, I did see previously um, in some of the crafty groups I follow, um, people have been finding these crochet kits. So I wanted to look and see if they had any of those crochet kits. So I did get a good amount of stuff. Um, I'm going to just show you a little bit of what I got in this Dollar Tree haul. Now it's a little bit um, crochet related. Some of it's not crochet related. Um, some of it's like Halloween inspired uh, stuff, which they had a lot. Dollar Tree is great if you're either decorating your home or um, just starting out on your crochet and knit journey or anywhere in your knit or crochet journey. Um, so to start the video, I got some of these. Let's see. These are the uh, Crafter Square um, crochet hooks. They're kind of ergonomic. Got them right here in the package, which I can take them out so y'all can see them a little bit better. Um, they only come in like three different sizes, um, ranging from 4 mil, uh, 0.5 millimeter, 5 millimeter, and uh, 5.5. They look like this, so I'm going to show y'all kind of right here. So they have like a tapered uh, spot right here where you can put rest your uh, hand. They're really great. Um, every time I go in and I see them, I kind of stock up because they are great, and sometimes they go for times... Um, or at least my local store does, where they don't have them in stock. Um, so I always try to get a, a set of three when I'm there. Um, but yeah, they have some plastic hooks too that come in a set of two. I'm not too fond of those. They're just a little more flimsy than I like. But with that being said, those are okay for getting started on your crochet journey. And if you love those, that's totally fine. Personally, I would recommend these with the metal hook but the plastic kind of grip because they keep your hand from getting fatigued uh, if you crochet for long periods of time. Um, then I also, as y'all know, I'm, I'm unable to go to the store and that has yarn and not buy yarn apparently as of late. So I picked up two of the Just Yarn, um, sorry if that's flipped, um, worsted yarn, um, I've got two of the skeins in mist because I have a project that I'm wanting to start. Um, it's the Wing Woman Jumper from uh, Manatee Squares. I'm going to start that. Um, it's done in like two separate panels, so I'm going to have enough. Um, I'm doing a lot more colors. Um, I'm doing kind of like a grayscale theme, but I wanted to make sure I had enough of each on each side, so I figured uh, a skein each for each side should work well. Um, let's see, the next thing I got, uh, they were getting into the spooky Halloween themed stuff, which I'm totally here for. Um, I got these leggings, which have like little cobwebs, spider webs on them. Um, so I actually got some of these leggings, um, uh, over the weekend as well. But the only thing is, I got a large, because that's all they had at the, that Dollar Tree that I went to last, uh, this weekend, the other one. Um, but I found the extra large, so it's no trouble. I now have two, but the I won't for long because I have a friend who's uh, just as crazy about Halloween as I am. Maybe more, maybe more. Uh, so I'm going to give her those uh, those leggings so I know they will work for her. I also picked up some of these cozy, cozy um, little fuzzy socks or fluffy socks. Mm, excuse me, I'm just going to get a sip of my cold brew. But these, I love getting socks from the Dollar Tree. They are so convenient, and they're great for gift giving. Uh, and they don't like they don't look cheap. You know, they really don't. Um, I usually get this, maybe some candy. Dollar Tree is a great spot also to go to get um, stocking stuffers um, and uh, things to add to like gift baskets. It's, it's great. Like you could get like a. A big gift, uh, um, you could even get, like, the whole gift there, to be honest. Like, they have, uh, gift cards. You could get, like, a gift card, put some candy, some of these socks, in a cute little basket they have. So, and not spend a whole lot of money. It's great. Um, but that's those socks. 
So I did also find some pot holders. Now, I love these to use when I'm making soup because sometimes the bowls get too hot. I just put it under. Um, but they're also really cute and they're a great statement piece to keep on your the little knobs of your cabinets. I have some of those in there. Um, they're kind of lemon themed. They're purple on this side for the um, pot holders that I bought. And it says, work your magic. They're so cute. Um, these come in a set of two, typically, for the pot holders. And they're really, really so freaking cute. Um, I also got these right here as well. With the skeleton hands and the cobwebs. They're so cute. They're so cute. I also was looking for, um, in my previous video, I had a hook storage. Um, it was like a little round thing with a bunch of holes in it. Um, you could use it for like a variety of different things. Um, as I mentioned from the other video, it was from an idea from Elise Crochet. Um, Elise Rose Crochet, my, my mistake. Um, and I found one last, uh, this past week. But when I went today, not, not today, I'm getting my days mixed up. This week has been a doozy. Anyway, um, when I went yesterday to look and get all these items at the Dollar Tree, I wasn't able to find another one of those. Um, so I'll probably have to go back to that same Dollar Tree I went to on Sunday. Uh, because they did have a few and I should have grabbed more than one. I, re I really should have. Um... The reason I need another one is because instead of storing my hooks, I realized that my double pointed needles um, work a little bit better in there because it keeps them standing straight up, whereas the other storage I had for my double pointed needles has them going all the way out, which is not so great. Um, I did find one of the things I was looking for. Yay! So, I found these. These are the ones I started talking about at the beginning of the video. They are the Crafter Square uh, DIY Crochet Amigurumi Kits. Uh, it says they include uh, everything you'll need um, to make this cute little kitty. Or, I also got this cute little bunny. They also had some other, um, other styles as well. They had like a dinosaur and I think either a puppy or a, a, it looked like a beagle. And they looked really cute and for a dollar twenty-five. Everything that I've shown in this video, um, aside from the leggings, those were five dollars. Um, everything else that I showed in this video was a dollar twenty-five, which is the price point they have. Which for these, really, really great. Um, from looking at it, I'm going to just show y'all a little bit. This is what comes in it. And I'm going to do a full review when I actually use it um, to see. The crochet hook looks rather cheap. I'm going to be honest. Um, I would not recommend a plastic crochet hook for uh, making amigurumi. Purely because it, it can bend. And actually I've had a few um, either um, plastic or wood um, crochet hooks break on me for that. So... I would not recommend anything but metal hooks for these amigurumi. I'll still probably use the hook that it recommends just to see how it works because it probably will pretty well. Excuse me. But that is what I found on my little Dollar Tree shopping spree haul video. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, if you like this content or um, any of the other content that I've put out, feel free to like, subscribe. And uh, sh shoot out a comment as well. Um, I do plan to do chat GPT videos as I've mentioned. And I have a few already where I prompt it um, with knitting prompts and crochet related prompts. Just yarn related prompts in general. But this week's might be a little bit delayed. I've been doing the, um, the research I usually do which is giving it prompts. Haven't had much time to, um, to test out the prompts for their functionality. Um, but interesting things are happening. I'm learning a lot with um, with how to interact with ChatGPT and um, how it understands things, which is really great. It's really phenomenal. Um, with that being said, the video I had planned for Friday uh, may be a little bit delayed. Or it may be like a different video. Like, I, I still intend to... Uh, 
put something out on Friday, but I'm not sure if it'll be the same um, format I've been doing the previous chat GPT videos where I um, mention the pattern and then test the pattern out because I haven't had a chance to do that yet. I, I really haven't. It may just be a uh, critique of chat GPT at this point, um, but I do also, if I don't get a chance to put out videos this Friday, I'll probably be doing something for this weekend too um, because I am going out of town to go to the nearest Joanne because they got the yarn that is good. <laughs> Let's just say it that way. But um, like I said, if you've enjoyed this content, feel free to like, subscribe, and send a comment. Uh, with that, I hope you all have a great day. Thank you.